Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for Tuesday the 23rd of March 2021 for all signs. As I'm saying all signs, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Let's pull your first card and see what we get. So what do we have for Tuesday the 23rd? Oh, well, I like that card. <laughs> We've got abundance. This is not lacking for anything. It's feeling fulfilled. Uh, now you can see all the gold there. I mean, that can be, we can have abundance in terms of not feeling lack, but we can also have abundance in terms of material success as well. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Such a lovely energy. And there's a feeling of holding it, you know? Let's pull some cards, see what we get. What do we have, please? Angel Spirits Guides. It will be for Tuesday the 23rd of March, 2021 for all signs. What do we have? Message for all signs, thank you. Message for all signs. Okay, so I've got the Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Strength card. Queen of Wands. Page of Swords. Okay, well, I've got the Ten of Cups here. I'm getting in this energy that someone in a relationship is experiencing lack. And it feels like it's not just affecting them, it's just getting everybody down. It's almost kind of like, there's a feeling of, you know, the elephant in the room. You're dealing with a situation here, but there's definitely an energy of abundance is coming your way. Be strong. You're strong enough to deal with it. You're strong enough to rise to this challenge. That's what you're being told here. And again, it's interesting. The water in tarot we know represents our emotions and feelings. And it's almost kind of like, oh, just try and keep it in. Just try and keep that balance. You know, um, find that emotional stability within. You know, and it definitely feels like that's the situation. I'm getting this energy of money and career here quite strongly. Someone trying to be strong or or, or the message from spirit is be strong. Um, you have enough inner strength, inner power, inner resilience here to rise to whatever challenge or fear you're facing here or adversity and overcome it. So there's definitely an energy of just try and keep that emotional stability, security. Queen of Cups is Cancer, Queen of Wands is Aries. So again, that might resonate for some of you in terms of people in your life, male or female energy. It's not just those. It can just be the energy of what these cards are saying. Because for some of you, for some of you, there could well be somebody, I mean, the, the Queen of Wands with the Six of Pentacles, somebody reaching out. She can hold an offer or an opportunity, you know, a queen can offer some kind of opportunity. Yeah? She is somebody who is very uh, magnetic in her power. Uh, she's a person of action, but she understands how to bring abundance and success into her life. So a leader, you know, somebody who is in a leadership position may well be reaching out, offering you something. But it can also be to do with, um, this could be you, you know, this could be your energy. Stay in your power, you know, in the face of what feels like lack, not having enough, needing to ask for help, you know, needing to ask family for help, needing to ask, 
you know, the bank for help. You know, it can be that kind of energy. There's a message of you're going to get what you need in whatever context this is for you. So stay in your power. That is definitely a message here. But again, this could be somebody reaching out, offering you something um, that makes all the difference. I have to say, because the sunflower is, is all about abundance and success. So very nice energy there. Because for some of you, you might be hearing something here, um, which is almost kind of like opening up a new path. I mean, the two of ones can be a card of the beginnings of progress. Um, maybe some decisions, maybe some news or information or a conversation or hearing something, learning something here that can really make all the difference in terms of making some choice or decision about your future. It feels for some of you that where you might have been not clear in terms of how something is going to pan out for your future, something is going to come in and it will make things really clear in which direction you're going to go. Now, yes, this can be a choice between two paths, two opportunities, but it feels with that page of wands, sorry, page of swords, the pages and messengers, uh, you're going to learn something, hear something. There's a message of truth here. And it is allowing you to make some kind of choice or decision about your future. And it's almost kind of like we weren't sure how the future was going to pan out. We've had to be really strong here. Didn't feel like we had enough, you know, didn't feel like we had enough. And it's, it's the pentacles energy. It's our conscious reality, our home, our money, our career, um, affording things, you know, it, it is that kind of energy here. You may have been asking other people for help, uh, financial help, financial support, you know, that kind of energy. But all of a sudden, your future is becoming clear and it's a good thing. You'll be able to make some choice or decision about your future because something's coming in here some news, learning something, hearing something um, that is going to bring the clarity that you need to see how something's going to unfold. And this is about stepping into the unknown. Remember, the two of wands is about stepping into that unknown. I'm ready. Boy, am I ready for this, you know? And it's bringing in some happiness, you know, the blissful relationship, the ten of cups, the happy ever after. Um, ten of cups is a result of hard work as well. It's productive energy, Mars in Pisces. So there's definitely an energy here of, yeah, it just feels like you've been challenged. And, you know, any of you who have a, a, a partner, somebody going through this at the moment, if this isn't you, this could be your partner because uh, you're close to them in terms of your energy. This is what this reading is relating to. And it's almost kind of like, you know, you're just happy for them. You're just finding the happy and the bliss and the harmony again. You know, it feels very beautiful. So it's the rainbow of blessings um, because the universe is saying, yeah, this is your reward for the hard work that you've been putting into something. Um, and finally, things are becoming clear. Maybe some choice about your future, but definitely how something's going to pan out now is becoming clear to you, learning something, hearing something, and it makes all the difference. Isn't that beautiful? The Ten of Cups, real happiness, fulfillment, joy, um, lovely, lovely energy. Yeah, just bring, restoring the happiness. I love that card. Absolutely love that card. I felt such a good energy from it. You know, it's interesting. Do you see do you see the ghost of the caduceus, which is the two becoming one energy? You know, it feels like it's almost kind of like the union of what this represents. You will overcome it because it's almost kind of like the strength is there and maybe somebody you're giving strength to somebody or they're giving strength to you to see something through and overcome it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pull a final card. Thank you. Yeah. You know, we have number 26, love and light, act with care. I feel for some of you, this is 
feeling the love and light again. You know, it definitely feels in this energy, feeling the love and light. Um, yeah, and there's so many ways that you can interpret that. Certainly, you know, being strong enough in your power to overcome something that you are facing. And it's interesting, two and six is eight, which is the strength card in this reading. So I definitely get in this energy, you have the opportunity to really master something and overcome it, rise to a challenge and restore harmony and, yeah, the happiness. Beautiful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.